Are you ready to take your Docker skills to the next level? In this video, I'm going to reveal five insider Docker secrets that the pros don't want you to know. These are tips and tricks that can save you hours of work, reduce frustration, and make you look like an absolute Docker genius. So grab a coffee, buckle up, and let's dive into the world of Docker magic. Let's start with a game changer. Slim down your Docker images. The smaller your image, the faster your builds, pulls, and deploys. But how do you do it? Well, use the right base image and multi-stage builds. Use lightweight base images. If your Docker file uses Ubuntu, Debian, or other large images, consider replacing them with Alpine whenever possible. Alpine is a much lighter alternative. Think of it like packing for a vacation. A standard Linux distribution prepares for all conditions. Peru, Antarctica, Fiji, it's packed for anything. But Alpine assumes you're headed to the beach. For containers, where you only need just enough of an operating system to run your statically built binary, Alpine works perfectly. However, it's less ideal for applications that depend on a lot of shared libraries provided by the operating system. Use multi-stage builds. They're a game changer for keeping your images clean and lightweight. In the first stage, you build your application. Start with a Node.js base image, set the working directory, copy your files, install dependencies, and build your app. In the second stage, it's time to deploy. Use a lightweight web server image and copy the built files from the first stage into the server's directory. The result? A final image that includes only the runtime files needed to serve your application. No build tools, no extra baggage. It's efficient and streamlined. Use Docker Image LS to monitor image sizes. Run Docker Image Prune regularly to clean up unused images. Next up, debugging Docker containers. It can be challenging, but with these tips, you'll troubleshoot like a pro. Start by using the interactive shell command. This gives you direct access to the container, allowing you to inspect logs, processes, and configurations in real time. To view logs from a Docker container, use Docker logs followed by the container ID. For monitoring logs in real time, add the dash F flag. This keeps you updated on everything happening inside your container as it happens. Docker health checks are a great way to ensure your container is running smoothly. Here's an example. This command tells Docker to check your container every 30 seconds by trying to reach localhost on port 8080. If it fails, the container is marked as unhealthy. With health checks, Docker actively monitors your container, ensuring it's running as expected. Inspecting Docker networks is key to troubleshooting connectivity issues. Use Docker network inspect followed by the network name. This lets you check IP assignments, view connected containers, and identify potential connectivity problems within your network. Tip number three is all about data management. When it comes to persisting data in Docker, volumes are your best friend. Let's break down the difference between volumes and bind mounts. Volumes are managed by Docker. You can create one with the command docker volume create followed by the volume name. Bind mounts link a directory on your host machine to a container. In simple terms, volumes are Docker's native way of handling data, while bind mounts directly map files or directories from your machine into the container. Always use volumes for important data like databases or configuration files. To check the details of a volume, use docker volume inspect followed by the volume name. Avoid common pitfalls. Never store critical data directly inside a container. Why? Because when the container is removed, all its data is lost along with it. By using volumes, your data stays safe and persists even if the container is deleted or replaced. Networking in Docker might seem complex, but it's incredibly powerful once you know the secrets. Let's simplify it. Use bridge networks for isolated services. And with this command, you can link containers to this network. For better performance, use host networking. This skips the virtualization layer and uses the host's network directly. Finally, for multi-host communication in Docker Swarm, create overlay networks. Overlay networks are perfect for connecting containers across multiple hosts in a Swarm cluster. Finally, automation is the key to efficiency. With Docker Compose, you can effortlessly orchestrate your entire environment. Here's a basic example of a Docker Compose file. 
need to scale your services, run the docker compose up command with the scale flag followed by the app name and the number of the needed replicas. This spins up multiple instances of your app to handle higher workloads. For better configuration, use environment variables with .env files. Just add it like this. This keeps your settings clean and manageable. That's it. Five powerful Docker tips to take your container game to the next level. Which one did you like the most? Drop your thoughts in the comments. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next time.